In this video, I will be comparing EAS and HMP kernels to find out that which one is the best. So let's get started. So what is a HMP kernel? HMP stands for Heterogeneous Multiprocessing which is an extension of completely fair scheduling. CFS is mostly used in non-little big devices. So if CFS is used in Android devices, then the interaction between kernel won't be good as EAS or HMP. So basically HMP already knows that which process should use little or big CPU. For example, if there is a music decoding, then it will use little CPU and for gaming it will use big CPU. And it also doesn't predict future processes. That's why HMP is standard scheduler. Let's see EAS kernel now. EAS stands for energy aware scheduling, which introduces need to use of energy model. EAS tries to unify three different core parts of the kernel and the energy model helps to unify them. The three different core parts are Linux scheduler, CPU idle and CPU frequency. These three components makes the EAS kernel. By unifying and calculating them all together, the energy is less consumed and it is more efficient. CPU idle decides when the CPU should go into idle mode while the CPU frequency decides when the CPU should increase or decrease its frequencies. For example, you need to wake up a device from idle state, so the kernel will give command to less active CPU instead of waking up other idle CPUs, which will save energy in the end. <laughs> Boy. I have did some benchmarking on these kernels to find out the differences between them. So let's check it out. So as you can see, the scores are very similar and some of them are higher too. Moonlight and Agni kernel which are both EAS kernels shows the highest performance in multicore and then Nobita and Stock kernel which are HMP ones shows the highest performance in multicore.
Enemy contact. on the moon. 